hello <laughs> um so i'm going to do a quick makeup look um i asked on twitter what i should do and one person replied and they said to do classic cherry red lip glossy with a matte highly contoured complexion and a winged clean eye i haven't worn lip gloss since like lip schmacker days when i was like seven it makes me nervous because i don't like the feeling of gloss on my lips i i, I don't know but then that was back in the day when all i knew was cheap lip glosses so i actually went to the store uh, and bought a uh, pixie by Petra like this clear crystal looking kind of gloss it's like in the shade petal ice so we'll see I don't know actually shit about gloss so let's get started I'm gonna zoom in a little closer so the first step that I do in my makeup routine usually after I wash my face I take this pixie glow tonic and I take a cotton round nice and good and saturated and all this does is like refreshes your skin it takes off any remaining crap you have on like see I had stuff that I didn't know even existed and also if I look past I have my mirror there I'm filming in my bathroom and I have a little mirror here so um yeah and I just take this all over my face after I do that I then take the Bobbi Brown face face. This is probably the best thing I ever invested for my skin because it works magic. Like, even when I don't wear any makeup, I still use it because I find that my skin, you don't need this much, my skin reacts so well to it. I feel like I don't have as much texture or redness if I pop a pimple, which don't pick your pimples. I'm just one of those people that has to pick things as on my face. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I like Dr. Pimple Popper. Sometimes I pretend I'm Dr. Pimple Popper. Um but if I do leave like a little scar because of my skin tone when I when I scab and scar it leaves like a purple mark. I don't know if I have any like you can kinda see some over here because you know whatever. It helps like with the it like the purple not lasting as long because when I usually have a pimple and I squeeze it, the purple and the scar usually lasts like a couple months for it to heal and then I have my normal skin back. But this helps with it go away like within a couple of days, maybe a week. I think it's the vitamin E. Um, so the next thing I do is I take this little thing by Real Techniques. It's like a ball on a stick. It's called their Under Eye Reviver. And I just take it and it's nice and cold, so it, not only does it feel good, but I get it under my eye. And I just massage to make it look less puffy or feel less puffy. Even if it didn't do anything, this still feels delicious, so I would still do it. I'm really freaking doing it. I love it. And sometimes if you feel like it's dragging, just spray it a little bit with um, some kind of facial spray. And it'll make you feel whole lot better um, with the dragging okay so to prime who i use poor professional this is a new one i normally like sometimes too if i'm really light i just put on the face base some people just use face base however let me, shh, shh, shh. however when i when i was wearing lighter makeup i just stick to face base because you know, I'm not going to look like all crazy flawless. I just want um, to serve natural face. And yeah, I mean, you can serve natural face with more professional. It's just some days these bad boys like to say hello to everybody. Okay, so my next step is foundation so i used to use just a beauty blender well real techniques uh sponge i've never owned a beauty blender you don't need to own a beauty blender this is pretty nice and good and it's very dirty so don't mind me um i 
recently got into blending with a brush now i've gone through several brushes i this is like the latest one i had before this one i don't like this for foundation i like it to blend out contour sometimes because i feel like it's dense enough but it, it's just not my jam for foundation i feel like it leaves it tricky but this brush by real techniques i got this at tg maxx for discounted is amazing and you just get it in there and you nice swirly swirly it's just great um but i do this all over the face and then i bounce it in um to create more of a natural looking skin so today i'm gonna use nars the shade van van uh two but now but now two maybe so i'm just gonna put it on my hand because i'm that kind of person and i just take my brush a little bit and i just start putting some dots around my face with the brush um, a trick that I actually learned and I didn't think about this before and I feel stupid was from Jackie Ina she said to focus on the outer perimeters of your face because you're gonna cover the inside anyways with concealer which I was like oh, she's right why am I worried about doing the most and wasting product when I'm just gonna cover it anyways with good concealer just like <laughs> common sense so now we're gonna go in the born this way multi-use concealer this concealer is the best and I use it all the time um, this is in shade natural beige the only thing with this concealer it literally says on the box or somewhere I forgot where I read it that you have to let it dry for 30 seconds which is a pain if you're in a rush i guess but i don't really mind we gonna let this dry and i only only blend this in with a sponge for contour we're gonna go in this fenty matchstick in the shade triple so you take this you rub it all over the brush or whatever and then you just put that on there and don't worry it's harsh i know i'm not gonna go out looking like this i'm gonna blend it but this is my foundation if you will i'm gonna do it pretty heavy today because we're going for that look and i just gotta work really hard on blending so you see i look like a crazy head So now I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to blend and you see I'm doing patting motions, patting and just going back and forth to make it look really freaking seamless. We're going to take this brush again with the leftover product. We're not going to put any more product on that. I'm not about the heavy contour life because I feel like it has a chance to look gross if I let it. I'm going to take an angled brush like this and I'm going to blend this out so it doesn't look so harsh. So it looks like I'm born with this, not like, you know, faking it till I make it. I'm going to take setting powder, um, Laura Mer Mercier. I'm gonna say with a big oh domey brush um by morphe the e41 brush next is bronzer which i broke yesterday this is it it cosmetic sunshine and a compact ah i just did that anyways i broke it in half kind of mad kind of not mad whatever so this is another good powder face brush you can use this for powder all over your face i love makeup because my routine works for me might not work for anybody maybe nobody but it works for me uh so with this you're gonna go around the perimeters of your face and you're gonna create kind of like an e so you're gonna start no, I started down there. But when I first started, you're gonna start like up here. You're gonna go down here and then you're gonna go around 
your um, jawline and this is just bringing more depth to your face and make it look less dead So now I'm gonna go in with a spray. I typically go in with this Mario Badescu, I have a bigger one, um, all over the face in between so that it melts the powders in. But since we're going matte, I'm not even sure this is gonna mattify it, like keep my face matte, but this is just to keep everything locked in. It's from Pacifica Coconut Essence. I, I love facial sprays, they're pretty relaxing. But this is just to get my powders in order kind of want to tie in some stuff with my face. Um, so I'm gonna take the bronzer that we just used. I'm gonna swirl a crease brush. I don't have a number for you, but this is by Sonia Kashuk. The same as the bronzer brush I was just using from that same collection. And I'm gonna tap off the excess so I don't go crazy. And because this is buildable, it literally should not be any kind of noticeable. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going in circular motions, windshield wiper. And I am just building my crease. So it, I have some kind of depth here and I look pretty freaking snatched, you know? I'm trying to get rid of this tattoo liner. I'm just trying to use it till it dies. But I, I want to try new ones. I've kind of been on this for a while and it's just time um, to let it go. So we're going to go on with eyeliner. <laughs> Cool. Uh, how I do my eyeliner, I'm going to show you how to do one eye and then I'm going to do the other because it takes me a while. But what I do is I go from the bottom lash and I go straight out and I create a line. You see how I did that? I just create a line there. And then about midway up the line, I just drag it into my inner corner and go from my inner corner and connect it. So you see how I have a little, like, kind of like architecture of how I want my eye. I used to just go from here and just go woof and just fuck it. But this is honestly one of the most foolproof ways to get a, to get a good winged eyeliner. And there we go. One wing done. I'm gonna do the other. Okay, now that we got as much as they're gonna match, we're gonna do the brows. Now I'm aware I have really nice brows, but I just get their life together just a little bit. Let me get in a little closer. Uh, first of all, I brush them to get the foundation out, and then I make sure they fall in line where I want them to, and I just I fill in the front a little bit and a little bit where I'm like, eh. I wish I had some hair, but not too much to be honest. It's not too much. So what you want to do is start at the bottom and go through here and then just make sure you just continuously brush so it looks nice and seamless. We're going to do mascara and I got this in a BoxyCharm box, Superhero It, but I highly recommend BoxyCharm because oof, they're they're helping my makeup collection grow. I'm, I'll show you the difference in this. From, oh, no, I put mascara out. Okay, I'll show you what I did to get rid of mascara that I get on my brow bone. So I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that this happens to. But the key is let it dry. You hear me? Let it dry. I'm going to do the other one, and then we're going to get rid of these uh, mistakes. But do you see the difference right now? in my lashes. This one is crazy. This one is boring and sad. Okay, I suck at mascara. I know I got it everywhere, but I'm gonna fix it. We're gonna take that empty spoolie from e.l.f. It's clean, it's clean right now, so clean it after every use. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just rub it, rub it off and it will flake right off. So I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown and shade Tawny 
for blush and I like using this flat top bouquet. I don't know what it's meant for but I use it for blush because I like it. I like the way it hugs my cheeks and we're just going to go on there, tap off excess, um, kind of like push your cheeks up forward, kind of half smiling and I'm going to go on the balls of my cheeks back into my hairline. That's what I like doing and I've actually recently started going alongside my eyebrow. I'm gonna go in with highlighter after every star 24 karat skin frost palette. Love, love, love this. Um, I'm gonna go in with sarcophagus and legendary. I like mixing those two. Those are kind of like my tried and true mixers. I mix everything with sarcophagus basically when I want to use it, just so it's more catered to my skin. And we're gonna go on the high points of your cheekbones up kind of where you put that blush and then I like to take the excess put it on my center of my nose and on my forehead and then I'm going to mix them again and I'm going to go on this side of my cheekbone and I'm go up my temple and I'm going to mix again I'm going to put it above my lip And then the excess down the bridge of my face, basically. I don't know, it's called bridge of the face. We're just gonna go with it. So now we're gonna go in with setting spray. Now that this is all done, I'm gonna make sure you shake, 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 shake. This is Arbane Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm gonna cover my eyes for the most part. So. So the lashes don't you know melt <laughs> so now we're gonna go in with lips jeffree star cosmetics um uh, red rum red rum red rum i always thought it was red rum and then one day i had the uh, one day i had the epiphany that it's actually supposed to be murder spelled backwards from like some scary movie i don't watch scary movies so you know that's my be i guess so we're gonna go in i like to go within my Call the mountain peaks, and I make an X. Also, I'm <laughs> trying to talk. This looks funky. Um, and then we're just gonna go straight down. Okay, so we got the lip on. Okay, so I'm gonna let it dry. And then we're gonna put the gloss over it. But right now we have an all matte look right now. So then after I put on the gloss, I'm going to go do something with my hair. And then we will be right back. And here's the final look. I'm kind of obsessed with this glossy look, this glossy lip. I don't know, I might actually do this more often. Like maybe this is like a good Thanksgiving look, like you're just chilling, you know? And uh, I don't know, I just, I kind of feel it myself. I was like, oh, let me straighten my hair. You know, I'm always curly. If you like this look, let me know. Uh, I had fun doing it, even though it's super, super simple, and super, super easy. I absolutely love the outcome. I'm feeling this gloss. I feel a little tingle actually um, from this gloss which I guess it's like plumping or whatever, and it's supposed to be like fine line reducing, whatever. It's not super sticky or gloopy. I think my hair will still get stuck to it, but it's not as bad. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, give me some feedback on what you think. Have a great day.